It's money. nice of them to not take the uh, the treasure from the town. We'll also give it to them. If that's what I'm paying them. Fifty nuts. It's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Got 50 nuts. So uh, yeah, uh, we, we we watched uh, Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, Patrick last and I week. watched Thor Ragnarok last week instead of LPing, and it was hilarious. Uh, definitely one of the. It's definitely like, one of one of the better Marvel. One movies of the so like far. for me, I would say it's probably one of my like top three or four Marvel movies. I, I would say that honestly. I mean, my, my favorite is still so far so far is still Doctor Strange. I don't know. But... I don't I don't know where I would rank the Marvel movies exactly. I would definitely put that. And Black Panther and the first Guardians of the Galaxy, like, way up there. I don't know where the rest of it would be. I still haven't watched Doctor Strange. I need to do that. Thank uh, you yeah, for yeah, reminding yeah. me. Because it's on Netflix. Yeah, yeah it is. Um, Doctor, yeah, Doctor Strange is my favorite Marvel movie still. Um, I, I didn't know how well uh, Benedict Cumberbatch was going to be. And he's pretty amazing. And uh, the effects are awesome. He he was pretty uh, good in uh, in uh, Avengers, which I know you haven't. He Patrick has not seen Infinity, seen Infinity War, War yet, yet. So, but I'm I'm basically I'm I'm a huge uh, like continuity nut, mm -hmm. and I really want to see Black Panther before I go and see uh, Infinity War. You know, it's it's both out and it's still in theaters. Black Panther? Yeah, I found this out because um, my wife and I we got money for Christmas uh, for our anniversary for my wife's parents, mm -hmm. and Aaron signed us both up for that movie pass thing, uh, where you can like go to like a movie like every day or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, uh, I was looking at what was playing on Monday, and they're still showing Black Panther at like one ten. I'm like, shit, we could well, just shit. go see Black Panther again. Fuck. Because I was just gonna go like see if if I could find a day when all of the copies weren't sold out and go to the Red Box or something. But I don't think it's at Red Box yet because I looked at it last week when before we we got Thor, and there's like a two week delay between when it comes out. And when it's on Redbox. Oh, that's lame. You I could mean, probably, um... I could probably rent it off of, like, On Demand, on, but I'm I was not, about to say, On Demand... I'm not willing it. to pay for it. Yeah, that's, like, five ninety nine versus, like, $2 for a Blu-ray well, from Redbox. I'll see how much it is. I'm, I mean, because I, I don't want to go through the cable, because it's not entirely my bill. Yeah, that's fair. But if I... Maybe if it's, if it's up on PlayStation Network, I'll do it that way. That's what I did with Ant-Man. Oh, nice. I'm in a foul mood. You may not pass. I wasn't a big fan of Ant-Man. I thought it was okay. I, I didn't actually have to pay to see Ant-Man. Um, I was... When, back when I worked at Capital One, um, we went to... Uh, as our, like, a corporate snack. retreat thing. How did they go with the blocks? I don't know. We, uh, we got to either go to, like, Dave and Buster's, or we all got to go to, like, a movie. And my team voted to go to a movie. And then we ended up seeing Ant-Man. And I was like... Well, I'm glad I didn't pay actual money for this. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'll put it, let me put it this way. I, I have not seen a Marvel movie that I haven't liked so far. Even Age of Ultron? Even Age of Ultron. I mean, I like, I actually like Age of Ultron, but like, it's not necessarily like... Oh, nice job with the lifestone, by the way. Not, not even Age of Ultron, but like even the Incredible Hulk. Uh, oh, the, like the, the Edward Norton Incredible Hulk? Yeah. Oh, jeez. I didn't hate it. <laughs> well, I... Because I, I haven't seen why I didn't like. Man, imagine the I fucking say, Marvel Cinematic Universe if Ed Norton was still the fucking Hulk. That would be wacky. Oh, and there's still when we now that we've come back, our peons have dug another room. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Um. Yeah. I, I would. I would not rate the Incredible Hulk near the top uh, anywhere. Sorry. Between them, like comparing mm -hmm. all the movies, but I still enjoyed it to an extent. But then, you know, I've also, again, this also, this also includes, you know, Iron Man 2 and Iron Man 3, which a lot of people <laughs> didn't like. So now we got to pay them 400 Nice. Now they're happy that we got, they got paid again. And now it's going to cost us 800 to get through the next one. You're taking me for everything I've got. I suppose I have no choice. This is the last time. My word. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> He actually fucking agreed to it. We're gonna be rich. We're gonna go back to drinking at the bar all day, but we won't feel guilty this time. Although, I don't know, they charge... What, how much do they charge for wine in this game? Like 400. It was like 400 at the bar. For like a jug of wine? Jesus. Yeah, and the wine doesn't even do much. It's like fucking Yellowtail. <laughs> 
Oh, that was a memory. Oh! Well, you know, now it's, you know. There really aren't too many monsters from here on out that are going to be in any trouble. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no shit. Um. Okay. Yeah, these bats are nothing. Reminds me of the, um, that one puzzle in Undertale where there's the sign out in the water and if you solve it, it's like, congratulations, you failed the puzzle. Because <laughs> you have to use the lily pads that you would use to cross to get to the sign. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think my favorite, uh, the sign is still, uh, Warning, dog marriage. <laughs> yes, yes, you, you read, read that, that correctly. correctly. Yeah, I love it. I actually got a little Undertale like postcard thing that I can put up. Oh, um, nice! Because I got uh, from I got a package from Fan Gamer recently because I got a, a a metal slug hoodie. Oh, um, nice! Fuck yeah! Oh, is this it? Yep. Yeah. Oh well, people, you can't see it, but I'm looking at Rado's metal slug hoodie, and it is badass looking. Yeah. Oh, I love it. That's awesome. But they always like include like a free little. Baggiest, little thing with it. Baggiest stuff, and one nice. of the things was a little um, Undertale. Give out the Ten Commandments. When thou seest thy true friend, the golden sword shalt awaken. <coughs> a true friend. You got a friend in me. <laughs> ah. I miss those words. Oh, that's right. Richard still hates us. Really? We have to fight that thing? Yeah, we just murdered it. Yeah. Oh, ah. Keep digging, the real work starts now. More money. And we pretty much got 800, 800 nuts, mm -hmm. just like in that alone, so... Well, almost. But, you know, it's enough to... We're almost there. Oh yeah, got the... Uh, you have the 800 nuts? That's a lot of nuts! You got the 1800 nuts? Hey guys, we got paid! <laughs> I got nuts coming out my ears! <laughs> what was that? There's something on the other side. Well, yeah, there was something on the other side every time, <laughs> but. Okay, well, never mind, okay. It's a sword. It's a shimmering golden blade called the Snake Killer. It's considered the most powerful sword ever made, yet it mustn't be removed, so. Remove it? Oh, hell yeah, let's do it. <laughs> this must be the secret Delarin is afraid of. Pop. <laughs> okay. So we got the best sword in the game now. Snake! What's that? <laughs> so our contract ends now, guys. Uh, <laughs> have a... Have a nice life! <laughs> the tunnel! <laughs> oh no, William Gass warned me about this! <laughs> it's gold! Pure molten gold! What? <laughs> it's a gold volcano, apparently. Oh! That's a thing. The sword must have been blocking the flow. Run! No, just bathe in the molten gold. Why not? <laughs> Wait up! Did you guys know this mountain was a volcano? <laughs> yep! <laughs> we knew! <laughs> we wanted to get paid! <laughs> so we kept quiet. You... <laughs> a dead end, only one option. Into the water! Caw caw. We're always saving him from harm. Let's go before he awakes. Caw caw. Prince Rado, are you alright? Please get up. Hmm? Where am I? I ran out boats on Syrup Lake. I came here after hearing the ice had melted, and that's when I found you passed out. Wow, the eruption warmed up the glacier. I can hey. probably turn into a frog or snake now. Oh yeah, please come with me. We'll get you a couple brews, eh? <laughs> Hot dog! The water cooled the molten gold. Jinbei won't be able to resist. But I can't carry it like this. This is your gold, Prince? Amazing! <laughs> Prince Wado, it's awful! No, I already staked a claim on this gold, actually. <laughs> My flag is on it. It belongs to me. 
Riding Hood, what's the matter? A big bad wolf! It's a disaster! The warm weather has thawed out the mammoth, and it's rampaging through our village! Oh, so we killed everyone. Good to know. What? <laughs> Nani! <laughs> Yes, yeah, so we're back in the Eskimo village, and now it's just destroyed. The prince ran to the Eskimo village to find grief, brutality, and destruction. I love grief, brutality, and destruction. All in a day's work. This is all my fault. I have to do something. Come on, Prince. You must stop the Elder. He can't handle the mammoth all alone. What? Oh yeah, the Elder's just fighting prince the mammoth, I guess. <laughs> Prince Rado inspired many black metal bands to form that day. <laughs> Mammoth, you're going to sleep in the ice again! This can't end well. Whoa! Elder! Oh, Prince Rado, I'm too old for this! I whip myself! Let's <laughs> get you to the hospital! Oh yeah, does, the Mammoth will just let us do that. Yeah, pretty much. Prince Grado, my greatest fear has come true. I can't hold it back without the mirror I've shield. I've been afraid of mammoths my entire life. Mirror shield? <coughs> yeah, you know, that thing from Zelda. It can reflect the beast's image, causing it to hesitate and making it open to attack. It can also block back lasers and stuff like that, but those aren't in this game. The shield is in the ice cavern, but I'm too weak to retrieve it. Please, bring back the mirror shield from the ice cavern. Please fetch quest the fetch quest from the fetch quest. It's okay, the mammoth will wait. Seriously, the mammoth will wait. It's just going to sit in that, that, that screen and not do well, anything. What the fuck? So, uh, you know, no rush or anything like that. Formerly Eskimo Village. I'll go ahead and save real quick. Yeah, that's a good idea. Don't don't save on the ancient tablet, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got... Dear Holy Tablet, today I killed a village. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going back into the ice cavern, which is, um... We have a whole section of the ice cavern opened up to us now that the mammoth's not in the way. Oh, yeah, the mammoth was blocking a thing, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. And I believe m most of the chests that we're going to find are uh, mimics. Oh, okay. Or maybe that was later. It's something like that. But... This game is a very serious parable about global warming. A good game. I guess. Oh! Nope. Oh! Oh! Trip to the hospital! <laughs> Oh, hello again, Rito! <laughs> you really didn't last very long, <laughs> did you? Yeah, don't know how I'm gonna last him against that uh, mammoth or whatever. Jesus, you walked right into those spikes, didn't you, Rito? <laughs> You're a real piece of shit hero, aren't you? I mean, you went through that the first time just fine! Yeah, but I used save states. If I was 30 years younger, I'd kick your ass! No, you're not. Uh, Someone help me get my walker! <laughs> I'm gonna beat Rodrigo's ass! <laughs> he has all that money because he murders innocent creatures! Like dogs and birds! That inexplicably have lots of money on their person somehow! Give, give me the walker. Give me the walker. I'm just, I'm just gonna <laughs> take this walker and I'm gonna shove it up my ass. <laughs> Oh, the walk up your ass. That was a Talos principle callback. Uh, you see, I used to sing about shoving puzzles up your oh, shove the puzzle up your ass because the right, I'm gonna use the music, save states for some yeah, of the uh, platforming here. The music sounded like uh, you can't always get what you want. Oh, good thing you use save states. Oh, and he's alive, folks. That never that rewind happened. that rewind function. We're gonna use rewind and Duke Nukem, so may as well start uh, getting used to that. Flowey block. Safe state for flowey block. Flowey block unhappy. Oh, there we go. I think. <laughs> Batman. Oh, no, 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 no. So now we get to go down here. That is. Oh yeah, that's where the the mammoth. mammoth yeah, mammoth that that is. that actually is a mimic there. Um, actually, I think that's later on where all the chests are mimics. Yeah, this has a lot of money in it. Um, and Get made, off my nuts, I'm collecting nuts! That that's is a mimic. mimic. And it's not like... Well, we can just oh. like, instant kill mimics now, so it doesn't really matter. Well, that's good to know. It's gonna save us some time. Hey, bear. Hey, bear. 
Looking good, eh? <laughs> Alright, good date. Spikes there, so save state. Save state that. I, I usually try not. Yeah, to, good job. I usually try not to uh, depend too much on save states, but uh, with this being an emulator and you know input lag and all. Oh, of course, yeah. It's the it's the input lag's fault. We wasted way too much time near the beginning of the game with that. Save state. Yeah, we did. So uh, at the very least, I'm not looking up a walkthrough because. I already know where to go. Prince Rado is bad at jumping on platforms. That would be better if I was playing on an actual Game Boy. But in his defense, the ice cavern sucks. Yeah, that's good to have. Doo -doo -doo. Whee! I don't think I can jump to either of those. You have to, I think I have to drop from above. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Not drop like that! Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, for all the good music in this uh, game, this song is not good. No, it's not. It reminds me of, um... Like, the Chozo Ruin song from Metroid 2. And that's just like... Compared to, like, the awesome song that plays, like, in the main central hub area. Oh, speed zone. Nice. And then this, like, the, the the rest of the music is either just ambient noise or the shitty song that plays in the Chosa Ruins mm -hmm. areas. It's a bunch of... Uh, oh, there's the mirror shield. Shit put together. I want to see what's in that chest Just hanging play. out in that secret, secret location. Hanging out with the family. That's, uh... Having themselves... I got hard. you, fam. Alright, so we got the mirror shield, so I'm just gonna warp back to town. Oh, good call. Peace out, suckers. I got your shield. And we no longer have to listen to that shitty music. Oh! Okay. Alright, so. Let's go ahead and save here. Save pretty much anywhere. Dear Eskimos, your savior is here! Uh, also your destroyer, but, you know, who's counting? So now, uh, the, the mammoth has a lot of health. Um. You could say the mammoth saw its reflection hesitated. Oh, there we That'll go. That'll just give us a chance to use an item. But, um, that's not going to help. Even if try using wasabi, it doesn't work. We're oh, actually no. supposed to lose this. Oh, I, I mean, I kind of figured from you're not freaking out. <laughs> yeah. Why is it so tough? I have the mirror shield. Why can't I defeat it? Question mark. This one, this kind of one gripe I do have about the game is that when it tries to be dramatic with this text, it starts scrolling slower. Yeah. I think that was kind of a dumb choice. Huh? I'm in a hospital. Did someone carry me here? Elder, even the mirror shield didn't work. That's because you have to give it to me! You haven't had enough training! Go back to the ice cavern! <laughs> no. Are you going to give in? If only we had a device that could control animals. Hmm? That sounds familiar. Oh yeah, Dr. Nit was working on oh something like God. that. Oh my God. So that means time to go back to Nintendo Island. This game would be like 45 minutes long if it wasn't for all the fetch quests. Holy shit. Well, to be fair, the fetch quests are part of the main plot, so it's not like you're doing this for like a side quest for like a Hearthstone. Yeah, but it's like just, that. it's like, there's only so many times you can be like, oh, go here and get this thing so we can beat the mammoth. Oh no, now you need to go get this other thing. It's annoying. Well, consider, yeah, but considering that it's a, you know, an early 90s Game Boy game, and they're trying to put in as much as, as much gameplay as they can. I mean, they already have a small enough world to, to work with. And it's still a good game, in my opinion. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm just griping. I know. 
you should really have like the ability to warp between towns, honestly. Yeah. Maybe that's what they were trying to do with that, you know, that, that boat setup or whatever, but as far mm -hmm. as I know, you can never use that. Huh. I mean, except for this. And it's not like it's hard to get to Nintendo Island or anything. It's just right up here. 